Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Guess I better take the stairs. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You gotta have to exactly play my cards right if I'm gonna squeeze extension. anything out of her. Okay? Hey, she thinks I'm a client. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. Yeah, she keeps the place pretty ship shape. I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation help you. There's nothing you can do. My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead! I bought ten minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son, is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! No point in pushing her. She's not going to tell me anymore. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. I didn't learn squat. Well, worth a try. I got to get out of here.
Lauren! <sighs> Lauren, open up, baby! It's me! Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you, I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal. Goddamn I asthma. I wanted to see you. <sighs> and it's not gonna get any better this friggin' weather. What do you want, asshole? Lauren! Is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Ugh. Get asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks.
hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. I noted that name somewhere. What was it? Blake. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jade? Yeah. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Reporters. Already. Huh. They seem well informed. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. The time is 8.14 a.m. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start with. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. I gotta find Lieutenant Carter Blake. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. I gotta find Lieutenant Carter Blake. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy, taking his dog for a piss, found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned. Like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. And we're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No. No, of course not. That's... That's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single... Yes, Lieutenant. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. The case seems to be attracting the attention of the media. Yeah, a greedy pack of vultures. These guys have killed their mothers first. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me. Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. The body is still here. The body is still here. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene.
Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Harry comment sample. Harry comment. Orchid pollen detected. Probably from the flower left on the body. Harry comment. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Impressive. Seems the only traces the killer left are those he intended to leave. He knew exactly what he was doing. Right down to the tiniest detail. Orchid pollen. Something the killer couldn't control. Can it be traced back to its source? The body got scratched when it was moved. There may be more traces of blood around here. Unrelated to the investigation. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Harry comment. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence.
There's a good chance that they're the killers. Harry, comment. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too.